and welcome back to um, warehouse problems. Right, I've got two trucks set up for it. I'm going to take the Western Star here. This is the one I'm going to use to go and get the rubbish and tell it to the pool. And then I've got the... Oh, I can't remember what, that, what one that is now. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Uh, Azov, the Azov 73210. I've put a crane on it, um, as you can see, and I've got a bed with two slots, and I bought another one of the red ramp trailers with four slots. I've put my free slot trailer over there. I'm going to keep hold of them just in case. Um, so, this is what I'm going to use to go and get me um, all my steel that I need. Um, but I'm going to use the Western Star first to go and get the um, rubbish. So I need to start the job, I think. Western, there we go. Warehouse problems, burn down warehouse. Um, let's activate that. And the first one, we're going. So deliver the burnt house. Uh, right, okay. There's a scout trailer there, so I need to go off and get that scout trailer, deliver that up to the Burnout Warehouse. And when I'm up there, then I need to pick up the garbage. So that's that there, which isn't too bad because we haven't got to go that far for that, have we? Like that. Like that. So we'll go there. And uh, yeah, then we will make our way up to the Burnout Warehouse afterwards which is up there so I might as well just get this sort of set up in the route we got to do because it will then know where we're going so like that so let's go and get the uh trailer first the western star hopefully we should be able to pick that up with Western Star. I'm hoping we can anyway. And we should have. Let's do that. There we go. Oh. Okay. Do that. We'll get there in the end. So let's get going. I'm sure. Yeah, it's got a hitch. I don't know whether that's going to take the uh, scout trailer though. We'll soon find out. I thought this was quite good because I can pick the uh, rubbish up with this. And if we can get that trailer up, I didn't realise I had to take a, a scout trailer up there. But hey ho. Um, I'm hoping that the hitch on the back of this is alright for the scout trailer. And we can then. Uh, Still a little bit dark, isn't it? I've used this before. Um, change of colours. Try to make it match with the, the bed, really. I might be able to pick that one up, you know. Scout. I need a scout, which will take. Yeah, so I need a scout. Right, okay. I'm gonna go back to the um, garage, pick up a scout, and we'll come back and get this trailer. And hopefully, I'll find a scout that's got room to take the um, take take the uh, rubbish away. 
So, right, okay. See you back. Well, I'll see you back here with a scout, hopefully. Right, okay. We're back. We're back up at the where the scout trailer is. Um, or the off-road scout trailer. I've taken the Afroma LT. I put all the extra bits on it. it had loads of orange accents on the ears and the air intake, the front bumper and the side sip. So I thought I'd do the actual whole thing in orange. So it's quite leery. So we are now going to get scout back. I'm going to go this way down instead. So we're not all going the same way all the time. And uh, we'll get this out there because there is no scout with a um, a slot for stuff. So we'll take this up, deliver this, then we'll come back to the um, come back to the uh, garage and um, pick up the. <clears throat> Western star we had there. We pick up the rubbish, we take that, we take that down the port, and then we come back, and then we get the uh, as off, and we we'll go and get all the steel. So, yeah, it's uh, three three different vehicles for three different runs. So, we're going to make our way up to the burnt out warehouse, and we'll get the warehouse sorted. So basically, I think we're just rebuilding the warehouse. I could have left the Western Star outside of it, didn't I put it back inside the warehouse, back inside the garage, so. We'll find out what this one's like compared to the other one. Oh, drive in. This is going to be fun in uh, the Azov, isn't it? With uh, a trailer and the, uh, and the other one. Wow. That's the bad of it, isn't it? Put the... Um, balance gearbox in because it gives you the uh, three low gears it gives you the, the low plus which just seems to have a little bit more bump compared to the normal didn't really need to be winched out on that it, it sort of made its way out in the end I was hoping to attach that tree on the right there but it just didn't didn't go for it, so ooh, this is a wow, a, a nice little setup of a makeshift bridge across there, isn't it? To the left of that, see if we can get round to a. Not too much, then. Too bad. Go through this though. Wow. Get a couple of sets of wheels out outside of it, and it might help get us round. We've got the old all-wheel drive in though. There's the burnt out warehouse. The big old boulder there, wasn't it? <laughs> you know what? This this earth frame ain't doing too bad. Seems to be a 
coping with this not too badly, especially as it's going a trailer as well, so right. go round. There we go, that's better. Cool. Ah, so we need something with a crane. That needs to be lifted up. It's good to know, I just noticed that. I wonder. I wonder. Could you? No. I was just wondering. Right. Okay. I'm going to make my way back to the... Actually, I'll tell you while I'm here, I'm going to... Accelerator on my getting stuck. Anyway, have a look. Did that? Oh wow! Oh no! It scanned, opened up that up there. But we didn't. Right, so we need to get back now to here. I don't know why I'm doing this. We don't really need to, do we? I know where I'm going. Just got to follow that back to here. We'll get the Western Star, and then we'll uh, we'll carry on with the next part. So. Right, I've just checked the map. Yes, we will be coming back past here to to drop off at the port. So we are going to leave the trailer here. We need the crane. And um, we're going to go up in the Azov. This is going to give us a good idea of how this is going to cope with it. <clears throat> if it's not going to cope with it, we can always come back and change to the um, lad. I think we'll be alright with this. Oh, it's always on. There's me trying to turn the all-wheel drive on. All drive and diff locks on constantly, so... Oh, that's the only thing with this, isn't it? It's uh, low. It's a good motor, but you just got to watch that low front. Some of these rocky bits. There may be a problem coming back with this. Off to one side at some point just to get through and up the rocks. I do like the rear steer on this though because it helps you get around a little bit tighter on the old corners.
brings it back in round. I wonder if we can just cut up to the, the garbage. <clears throat> Gonna go around. As we come down with the uh, earth roam, didn't we? Seems to come down all right. doing all right. <clears throat> Even though it's got a low front, he's actually doing all right. Um, we'll watch some of these rocks as we come down. That way... Is out. So let's go. Yeah, out of there and then we need to go up cargo <clears throat> or crane there we go right uh, garbage is on we now need to get back pick the trailer up and um Go and pick up some metal. And then come all the way back up here. With all of that. Oh, I'll put a, a nice up green and green on this. With the body's like a a bluey green colour. So I was trying to trying to colour match, you know. Be a bit of a colour match on everything. But doesn't always work. 
Sometimes they don't look right and you just have to have a mismatched body on them, but there you go. Got a trailer. A red trailer. Jamie can't change the colour of the bodies. But anyway, let's get this back, let's get the trailer, let's get down to the port, let's get that delivered to the port. And uh, we'll come back and we'll get yes, yeah, so it's four metal beams we've got to do. There'll be one on there, two, three. So yeah, we'll get three on one run. Then we'll have to go back and get another metal beams and uh, three steel rolls. So well, what we could do is two metal beams, two steel rolls, and then the next one we'll do two metal beams and one steel roll. Yeah, I might do that. I just might do a mix up. That's not all the same. I just need to. I just like to have a mix load. Doing all right. The uh, I think we might get down near. The, we'll be going past the fuel station to get to the uh, um, factory, won't we? To get the steel, so should be able to fill up. Going to the port. Hopefully, we shouldn't have too much problem coming around here with the trailer. Gonna have to do it twice, so first one's gonna be the trial. And uh, we'll find out if that works. If not, we're gonna have to uh, find another way of doing it, won't we? I'll probably end up being back in the plaid. Plaid will get round her alright, it's got a little bit more ground clearance at the front. And then heads to the right there. I think. It's like a ramp to get up there. Look at that. Yes. Lovely. Too near the edge. Not too fast neither, because if the low front, you got no clearance coming down either. I'll just put that one there. There we go. Right, pick the trailer up. Sales to the port. Um, <clears throat> and a quick look, I think. I think we'll do it. I think we'll turn off before we get to the bit over the top. I'm not sure now. But we'll find out. There's no point going all the way down there without the trailer. Because we can then pick up stuff to come back. Give us a little bit of time. Oh, a little bit out. Might be a little bit out of line there for that. No, we're okay. Let's get going. What a uh, versatile trailer, this one. The old ramps on the back. I'll show you this first run to the port and then up the well up to the mill from there or up to the steel factory. I don't really need to show you that, but we'll see how we get on over the over the top in this. Because we know we can do it in the plaid. So if this struggles to get over, we'll we'll muddle on one the first one and then we'll swap to the plaid for the second. But if this goes over the top, comes back with no real major problems. So with it for the second run. Um, and 
so I don't know whether I have to manually unload this but I think I should be able to just um, drop and drop it so what I want to do when I get to the road when I turn into the port I'll drop the trailer on the road but there's no point bringing it into the port when I turn around I'll leave it there go to the port deliver the garbage and then come back out and pick the trailer up and then carry on up to the uh, um, steel factory does turn a lot nicer though on the, on the road you see how there's a plant was a bit of a, a bugger to get around this corner there need to get up and over the top see how this does with the rear steer I wonder if this uh, will uh, do it in a one Keep that wide, not what we did with the plaid. We'd already taken the sign out with the plaid on the last one, but that we've got round without taking the sign out. The trailer would take the sign out, but the truck got round there. That rear steer makes a big difference. Uh, could do with the rear steer on the plaid actually, they'll help it get round. Uh, there you go. Different trucks with their different bits. Oh! Come on. The only problem with this, <laughs> there you go. Different trucks with different problems. Just front end, there's no clear, road clearance, like ground clearance. We do with uh, like race suspension on this, would just come um, in awesome. But, he's doing all right. It's not had that much damage, it's only yet. So it's the first time it's upset. We are going to have to do the same with uh, probably going over like we did with the plaid. You're never going to get up that dip, so I'm going to have to try and go on that um, cut round. this bridge and I'm going to have to hook, hook a right again because we're not going to get over that that dip I couldn't do it and this definitely ain't going to do it then with the with the uh, nose clearance this has got I mean I'll watch his sideward stability and the pad was quite good um, you know what he got over there alright. It did that not too bad. What about this one? No, oh, did that alright. It's reasonably level. That's cool. We're around there. Oh. Slight stall there. Right, so up to half a tank as well so we definitely uh will need to do top ups job there as well so come back for that later right so that's the car that's that's the garbage gone anyway let's go and get some uh, metal rolls and some beams I might do two and two Popping through the uh, fuel station on the way, we're just coming up to half tank. So I think we could do it here and back on a tank, which isn't too bad. So when we come out, we'll fill up. We'll be able to get up there, deliver, come back here, and then fill up. Yeah, not too much problem really.
Right, so we've got two and two. So then we need two more of those and one more of those. Right. So half of it. This is the first half. So another run, and then we'll have warehouse problems done, and then I think we should be on to doing the port. Which was the only real thing I was looking at doing to start with. We'll put it in the petrol station and we'll get some more diesel. We'll get it to daylight and uh, let's we'll see how we're getting on. Right, final stretch. We're coming over the last. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the same way I went in to get the um, garbage. We'll unload this first lot so that we're coming out on the soft stuff of an empty truck and trailer and I was looking at it to come through because we've only got to get two steel beams and one metal roll we don't need a four uh, four slot trailer so we can swap this back to the yellow one we'll try the yellow one on the back of the Azov the next run because we can put Steel beams on the back of the hands off, steel beams on the trailer and one roll on the back of the trailer. But then, uh, yeah, that will give us the last lot, so we'll come in this way. Yeah, so we need two beams on one roll. And then uh, this one done. So we'll drop this trailer on the way past um, the garage. I don't need to do a pop into the garage to do a um, it should be fill up. We've not used anywhere near half a tank. So this is reasonably good efficient. But we should be able to get all the way back down to the petrol station. Fill up there. Before we go and get the last uh, materials to finish warehouse problems so uh, yeah not too bad as for what we need for open up the port that will be uh, we'll wait and see have we got to go both sides up a little bit to the bridge or can we just do it all from one side Load that, go to there, load that, there and load that. So we've got two metal beams and one rolls. That is the job, all the materials for the job. Uh, we'll get around, we'll get in the fuel station, we'll fill up again. And we'll uh, make a last run back, and then we just got to drive back to the garage. So, uh, got the trailer off and put this back in. Here we go. So to there. There we go. So there's a uh, another warehouse here now. So good job, and the new warehouse is ready to go. Weirdly enough, the lightning struck a metal dumpster. We should take out the trash more often. Uh, and maybe invest in some lightning rods. Anyway, here's your pay. 3,150 experience and 32,050. Accept that. So with that, let's have a look, see what's on the cargo. So metal pipes. 
concrete blocks, spare parts, cement. Okay. Right. Well, that's that one done. We got to get this back to the um, carriage. And then uh, we will look at the next one, which should be, I think, if I'm correct, it should be the port. Um, so we're where I want to be. So I'm going to take this back to the warehouse. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. And we got um, that done in reason. Yeah, I, I don't think we had too many problems with that. It went reasonably well. Didn't really get stuck anywhere. We had a couple of little bashes with the old rock on the ground but other than that we really didn't have a problem the red trailer works better with this with the extended with the crane and the extended body or the the overhang but if uh, if this had a normal we didn't have the um, the crane on the front um i think this trailer would have been all right it's just catching the body on this angle where the back ends down the front's up it's just i think it's just holding some of the wheels off the ground or just taking a bit off so anyway Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for the next one, which is hopefully going to be opening up the port through to Foothills. So, till next time, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.